maxi skirts, wedding dresses, sleeves, flay for your peplum attachment. If you want to see how to make a skirt, like a circle skirt that is not so full, that the circumference of your waist is in 180 degrees, this is a half circle skirt. Stick around because I'll be sharing with you your own technique of achieving the half circle skirt. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Uzube and welcome to Zubi Coco. In this channel, we share fashion business tip videos. I'm a sewing enthusiast and a fashion enthusiast and I share everything sewing, everything fashion on this channel. If that's the kind of content that you'd like to see, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's get right into the video. You need two measurements, your waist circumference and your this length of your skirt. And now this is a full circle skirt pattern. It has 360 degrees in it and this is the half circle skirt pattern the circumference of the waist will be all in 180 degrees the first thing you want to do is to multiply your waist circumference by two in this the mini mannequin i'm using my waist or the waist of the mannequin is 9.5 inches which is nine and a half inches so you're going to multiply the waist by 2 so that when you divide it into 2 you have your entire circumference in 180 degree now if you go back to our previous video i've shown you on the how to make the half circle skirt pattern it was very clear but i'm just going to you know if you want to have a clearer picture of what i'm showing you here i would like you to click on the link and you see a better video so i'm going to skip this if I want you to multiply your waist circumference by 2 and then you apply your formula for finding the radius of a skirt which is 2 times 22 over 7 times R. So we have our 19 which is 9.5 times 2 is equal to 2 times 22 over 7 times R and then you have 19 is equal to 44 R divided by 7. When you cross multiply you have 123 is equal to 44 R and you divide both sides by the number of the alphabet which give us 3.02 approximately 3.1. So I'm going to measure out 3.1 now from the center point to the end of the point. Center point to the end of the point. Now we're going to transfer that that we just did onto our pattern paper you want to fold your paper into two so you make your first fold and then you make your second fold okay and then you start to measure out the ridges that you've already found i'll mention again that you can click on the link in the description box and go and see a clearer picture of what i'm talking about on how to draft a circle skirt pattern so i'm going to mark out the radius here which is 3.1 i'm going to mark it from the center of that point in our pattern paper and we mark it all the way around to the end forming a quarter of a circle When we finish marking it, we make a quarter of a circle like an arc all the way around to the end from the beginning to the end of the other edge of the pattern paper. So here now we now mark our desired skirt length. It's here that you now determine the length of your skirt. How long do you want your skirt to be? But if you don't have enough paper, you can just mark out like an equal proportion of skirts here i'm marking four inches all the way around this is going to represent the length of the skirt i can always use this pattern and repurpose it especially if you form the pattern with your waist circumference the length doesn't really matter here you can extend the length depending on the kind of skirt you're going for if you want a shorter skirt the shorter skirt should vary from around 14 inches to 17 or 18 inches and if you want like a new length skirt you should measure like 28 inches or about 24 to 28 inches depending on the height of the person that you have to measure when you are drafting your pattern and if you want a longer skirt you should have about from the 
edge of this point you now have let's say 30 something inches and if you want a long skirt you can also adjust the length of this skirt to maybe 45 inches depending on, on how tall the person is or 43 to 45 inches if you want a long skirt if you are going for like a maxi look and this pattern is very good for maxi skirts it's also very good for yeah it's, very, it's perfect for maxi skirts because the flow the flow the the ruffles the fullness is not that much so i will just show you how this skirt looks at the end of the video which you've already seen on the top thumbnail the fullness is not so much so here we now have our full circle skirt now remember that we multiplied our measurement by two and right now the entire circumference of this skirt is two times of your waist or the waist circumference of the mannequin i use so i'm just going going ahead to divide it into two now this is a half circle skirt when you divide it into two you now have your initial waist circumference which is 9.5 here now we are going to go ahead to mark the actual length of the skirt that we want which is nine inches remember that a half circle skirt is made up of 180 degrees this can pretty much help you to get any measurement if you want a three quarter skirt you look for a measurement that when you div when you remove one over four from it it will give you a waist circumference that's how i do my I know there are a lot of formulas out there but i'm not really the kind of person that likes to just take formulas and just apply without really understanding why but this is how to get like different types of skirts if you are not going for a full skirt this is definitely an option for you if you want extra volume you can go for like you know a full circle skirt now there is 540 degree circle there's 720 degree circle people are not even doing 1440 that's four of 360 degrees I'm not trying to go mathematical on you, but this is just it. the reality of it is that sewing requires a lot of mathematics. So this is what the skirt looks like. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this was very easy, if it's something you can replicate. And I'll see you in the next one. Kisses. Bye-bye.